Hello students, my name is Hardvinder. Uh, today we are going to solve uh, this paper, Cambridge IGCSE paper 3, uh, data analysis part we are going to solve today only, not rest of the paper. Uh, this is a Feb March 2022 uh, paper 3, we are going to solve only a data analysis part. So, let us start. Uh, firstly, we will solve the task 1 and then directly we will, for, uh, uh, we will go on the data analysis part. So, task 1 is uh, evidence document. We have to create an evidence document. Create a new word processed document. Make sure your uh, name, center number, candidate number is will appear on every page of the document. Means you can place this your name, center number and candidate number in the footer or in the header. Uh, they have not mentioned where you have to, but it should appear on every page of your word processed document. So, you can place in header or you can place in footer. Save this evidence document in your work area as M22 evidence underscore followed by your name, your center number, candidate number for example like this. You need your evidence document during the examination to place screenshots when required. So firstly, I will copy uh, this I will copy uh, this name and I will open a uh, word processing, any word processing. I am using LibreOffice Calc. Uh, for your information, I will uh, like to, I would like to inform you that I am using a Ubuntu operating system uh, in that uh, uh, the word processing software is the LibreOffice Writer. So, I am using this. So, firstly, I have to save it. I will save file, save as. Uh, there is a folder I have already created in desktop IGCSE ICT in that I have already created the folder work area. In that I will save this uh, file by the name M22 evidence underscore the name center name suppose my center name is IN159 and then your candidate number suppose my candidate number is 1111. So, I have saved this. Second thing they have told that you have to uh, display your name, center number and candidate number on every page of the document. So, I can place it in a header. For inserting in a header, I can go in insert and then header and footer option is there. In a header section, I want to put my name is Hardvinder, sorry, Hardvinder Singh. Then my center name is IN159 and then my candidate number suppose that is a 1111. So, this I have placed in a header, now in a, I am not in a header section, this is a header section, I am now in the main section, I will save it again. Okay. Oh, firstly, let me quit it, not required more. So, this one. Uh, task 1 is completed, so we will directly go to the spreadsheet part. Uh, I will press uh, control F for searching. Uh, task 4 is a spreadsheet, we will uh, go here directly. You are going to create a spreadsheet to display data about the lakes of the Great Rift Valley in Africa. Uh, some of these lakes can be found in more than one country. We are going to prepare a spreadsheet for this Great Rift Valley in Africa. So, firstly, I have told in 14th point, uh, rest of the points we have skipped, we have directly come to the spreadsheet part. Open the file m22lake.csv in spreadsheet package. Save this spreadsheet with the file name country uh, followed by uh, your center number, candidate number, uh, for example, country underscore this, uh, your candidate, candidate number and a center number. So, I will copy this name and uh, then I will open this file m22lake.csv in spreadsheet package. I will open it in a LibreOffice Calc. Firstly, I am having the source here. So, in this M22 lake is this one. So, I will open it directly. It will open uh, the separation, separator options, tab, comma, semicolon, same you can use. I will click OK. So, it is opened. Uh, then I will click on file and uh, save as. Uh, I will save it in our um, work area folder. So, where is, here is a work area folder in that uh, I can give it name. Country, 
then my center number uh, suppose that is i n one five nine and uh, candidate number suppose my candidate number is four times one 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 uh, then you can select the format i will save it in ods format you can use xlx or like uh, any like xlsx or any whichever the software you are using i will save it in a ods format now save the file is saved the task uh, 14 is completed uh, then task 15 one mark this topic is completed then they have told us to delete row 1 so this is our row 1 we need to delete it these are the headings simply you can click on the row heading and then right click and then delete row the row is deleted move further remove duplicate data from your uh, spreadsheet we need to remove all duplicate data like uh, lake victoria is repeating uh, many a times and their values are also being repeating and these are also repeating a uh, fresh is also we have to remove all the duplicate data from it how to remove in this uh, calc you can directly click uh, here in data and then uh, more filters and then advanced filters then uh, they ask to select the file uh, range from where you want to delete and then click here the more options uh, you can select no duplications click here and then okay you can see all the duplicate values uh, have been deleted so only duplicate values uh, let me check again you can select data then advanced filter uh, then you can click on options no duplicate yeah the duplicate values uh, the exactly duplicate values means everything uh, in the rows everything is uh, same then the rows are deleted means uh, uh, the uh, code number and uh, uh, we can s and, and everything uh, which is in a same options are deleted duplicate values are deleted so uh, let me close this first no required yes uh, they have told us to delete uh, column a b e f and g delete column a b d e and f firstly they have told us to delete column a b d e and a b d e f and g first we will delete them a b d f and g uh, let me check a b d e f and g a b d e yes so you can select these uh, columns by pressing the control button from your keyboard and uh, by pressing the mouse left button so you can select all uh, and then right click and then delete columns so all columns are deleted so now the next they have told remove our duplicate data from the spreadsheet now we have to delete duplicate firstly we need to delete the columns so so kenya is repeating and uh, so many values are repeating like this Ethiopia is repeating Kenya is again and again repeating we need to delete all uh, duplications so you can simply select uh, go to uh, data and again more filters advanced filter and then more options and no duplicate and uh, you have to select your values if you want to delete yeah no duplicate or ok so values are deleted duplicate values are, are deleted so okay good place on the left in the header the test created by then space and then your name center name center number and candidate number place right in the header the automated uh, name without file path file name so what we have to do we will create a header in the left hand side in the header section in that spreadsheet we will write created by then uh, space your name uh, your center number and candidate number and the right hand side will have to write the file name and the file name which we have saved this uh, the name like this this file name uh, by which name you have 
saved but not a path the location where we have saved we don't require that so for going in a header section we can go in uh, insert then uh, header and footer this is a header section this is a footer in header uh, center uh, center area i don't require anything in the left area i will write uh, my name arvindar singh comma uh, the center number suppose my center number is in space you can give not a comma in 159 and then you will write your candidate number suppose my candidate number is four time one and the right area right hand area i need the file name the file name you can select from here file name without path they have told so like this country this is a file name okay so this is saved so now uh, this task is also been completed uh, now we have come on the 19th point sort your spreadsheet into ascending order set your spreadsheet to display grid lines and row and column headings when printed save your spreadsheet make a screenshot to show the print preview of the spreadsheet make sure that the header is fully visible grid lines are displayed row and column headings are displayed row and column headings header uh, is fully visible uh, grid lines are visible header means where we have written the name etc or grid lines the lines uh, means those uh, rows and columns uh, boxes grids should be displayed all data fits within a uh, column means uh, within a column width is fully visible uh, place your screenshot in the evidence document evidence 5 the screenshot of the print preview of the spreadsheet with the required information clearly visible so firstly i have to set its uh, setting you can go in form file and uh, firstly you can go in format then option is you can go in here and then uh, print so this is a printing options you can set in the properties these are the printing but we need to Uh, set up all these things show that uh, grid, grid lines should show and everything should be displayed in a proper we have to because it's not showing here grid lines and row headings and column headings are not displayed here so we have to set up all so for that purpose we will go printer settings no not uh, this is for selecting a printer and the options uh, for printer settings uh, that is the option in format i think in a format will say page style uh, here you can see header footer sheet in the sheet option in page style will see we have to show the grid lines grid lines we need and uh, column and row headers also required as they have told so header and footer which we have placed uh, name center number that will uh, already will exist that no need to select we have selected a grid and column and row headers so as they have told us so that's okay uh, okay so now now i'll check the print print preview print preview so you can see grid lines are shown a uh, row header is also been shown here so you can see it like this okay uh, we can make it little bit bigger because we have a lot of space Uh, you can uh, make the column also bigger no one second showing it's okay so you can save it export export as pdf we can export as pdf in work area i can save it uh, with the same not same uh, with the same name you can save it and in work area i'm having here work area i will open it uh, i need to place this screenshot so i can take a screen i am taking a screenshot oh yeah so this screenshot i need in my 
here in my evidence document. Uh, so here I can write evidence 5 and place here my screenshot. So evidence 5 is ready. test okay let us uh, move further uh, this we have already created so now open and examine the file m22 grid dot csv and uh, m22 lake dot csv mt22 lake.csv we have already opened and edited uh, these files will be used but uh, must not be edited so both files will need to use uh, create and uh, format the spreadsheet so that it look like this we will have to create a new spreadsheet um, which uh, same like this uh, make sure that b1 g1 and c3 and g3 are merged uh, save your spreadsheet with the name finder followed by your center number candidate number for example like this this is a five marks question so firstly we have to create firstly they have told us to open these files uh, i'll close it uh, i think that is no more required save it so they have told us to open files which which files they have told us to open these one m22 grid open this and the second one this one m222 c lake so these both files we have opened as they have told so now we need to create a new spreadsheet uh, and save it uh, and just open a file new spreadsheet and save this file save as in work area uh, with the name here you can write your center number that is a IN 159 and here you can use 1111 okay the file is saved we will have to format it like this A2 uh, G we need merge as they have told B1 to G1 and C3 to G3 are merged b1 to g1 will have to merge the files b1 to g1 we need to merge them b1 to g1 and c3 to g3 c3 to g3 we need to merge them yes you can merge now write lake finder by country in the header uh, lake finder by the company you can copy it simply uh, we can uh, copy or you can type also i'll copy here so we can uh, make the background black by default it makes the foreground white when we do the background black this is a very intelligent software so you can make it bold okay next uh, then uh, in B3 you will write country and in C3 you will write Ethiopia. Uh, no, you will not write. Only country name you will write here. Here uh, in B3 you will write country. Yeah. And here you can write Ethiopia. Uh, this we need to be C3 we have uh, copied also, but you can write here also Ethiopia. Yeah you can left align uh, then code uh, name area and these things you have to write you can copy or you can type code name area here you need code then name then area 
area in kilometers per square kilometer square kilometer square area and uh, eval elevation in meter elevation in uh, meter then uh, depth in max and depth in uh, max and then uh, water uh, here you can write uh, the numbers like 2 3 2 8 10 2, 3, 4, uh, you can drag down, uh, yeah. then uh, set the grid lines for that, you can set the grid lines like this, ok, uh, so this is saved, now five marks question we have uh, done and now we'll come on the 21st point 15 marks question very heavy weightage of this question very important question place formula in b6 that can be replicated down to b14 the formula must look up the code for each lake using a country stored in cell c3 and external file b20 m22 grid csv for the array make sure that within uh, each formula there should be no lake code no error message or data is displayed in the cell hint you may use the content of the column a to help you replicate your formula from b6 to b14 hide column a so later on uh, column a we have created column a uh, like this two three four this is for a temporary basis we will hide it uh, after using so firstly what they have asked we have to understand the question first we write we need to write a formula in cell b6 where is b6 here uh, this is a b5 here is b6 i think we have we should start from b6 so these codes in b5 and 4 is not there so here we insert a row code is not required yet we write need to write the code here b6 replicate down the b14 uh, the formula must look up the code for each lake we'll find the code for each lake uh, we'll type here a code write a formula in b6 uh, b6 uh, is this one code yes place in b6 that can replicate down to b14 the formula must look up the code for each lake using the country stored in c3 depends on the country whatever the country we have written according to that it will locate the code for the uh, that will locate for the code uh, means for this country what is the code it will look up look up from that uh, file it will look up uh, formula must look up the code for each lake using the country stored in c3 and, and the external file m22 grade csv for uh, the array make sure that within each formula there is no lake code no error message or data is displayed in in the cell so uh, means the country is ethiopia then what will be the color code so if the country is ethiopia the code will be l22 L23, L24, L25 like this means code is like this so here we need to display L22 here L23 and L24 so like this we have to uh, display up to here L2031 so what is uh, we need to do here we look up so first is search criteria means search criteria is this one it uh, will search for this ethiopia this is a first lookup value it will find the ethiopia from where the table array table array is uh, this one this is our table array yeah uh, then comma 
then it asks for the column index. For this, the column index is 1. Uh, for second, this is 2, then 3, 4, 5, like this. So, firstly, we need uh, the second column index is second. So, you can select from here. Here is a 2 means second column we column index we need. Then, comma. Uh, then, true or false, we we'll use 0 for a false. And then, enter. It is showing L22. Means, uh, the column index 1, uh, column index 2, it is showing L22. Here, we need column index 3. So, you can copy this formula like this, but it is showing error. Uh, here, we need, no, we need to make it absolute, because when we are replicating the formula, so it is making C4. So, this will uh, remain constant. For making this, we can make press F4 to make it absolute, and then you can drag down. C3 is OK, and here C here is showing B5 is showing error. So, where is showing error? Let us check. Uh, where is this one? This are do D two three four five six seven like this. It should show all the codes, but showing error. You can copy it here. So we have made it uh, uh, absolute, and everything is okay. Now we are dragging down here, and when we are dragging here, then uh, yeah, uh, we need to make this reference also absolute. A one two J eleven, uh, that is a reference from where you are picking. We need to make it also absolute. I can press F four. Then, then okay. So it is uh, done means uh, I think you have understood uh, for this Ethiopia but if I am changing the name of the country instead of Ethiopia I am writing uh, Zambia what will happen people write here Zambia is showing L11 uh, you can check is it L11 yeah only L11 is there rest of the things are uh, blank if I am writing Kenya, uh, I write here Kenya is showing all Kenya for Kenya or L1, L2, L3 like this. If I like Udang, uh, Uganda, uh, you can write Uganda. So it is showing. Good. So this task is uh, completed. I think this 15 marks task is completed. You have understood. And uh, we don't need it for more you can hide it not a delete you can hide it only so this is done so now uh, further place 22 uh, 7 marks question place formula in c6 to g14 to look up the name area elevation depth and type of water using the lake code in column b for the value and the external file m22 lake.csv for the array make sure that Within each formula, there is no lake code, no error message, or displayed, uh, or data is displayed in each cell. So let us check. Suppose uh, here L code is six, then we need to find the name of uh, the lake correspondence to L L six. So from where we will pick it here in in uh, M twenty two grid uh, here means if uh, there is a L six. Then it should be Lake Victoria. And if at L16, then uh, it should be Lake Albert. Uh, for L18, it should be Lake Edward. So, how to do that? We will apply here lookup value. We look up. Then the search criteria is this one. Then, comma is for asking for the array. Array, you can copy. Uh, yeah, from here. So this is a array, and uh, the name is in the second column. Keep in mind the name is in the 
second column name is in a second column index will be 2 and then uh, when you use 0 then you can press enter so that is showing the error d6 uh, column index is 0 Let us try again. It's showing error. Uh, you will write V lookup. Firstly, it asks for the search criteria. Search criteria is this one. Uh, then array. So array uh, you can use uh, and this one. This is our array. And uh, then column index, uh, second column uh, index we need to display the name is in the second column then sorted array that is a 0 and then enter. So again it is showing error. Oh, what is the mistake in that was not able to find. You can make it absolute. And then second column and zero, uh, everything is everything is done well. So why it's not picking? Okay, uh, let us check for another Ethiopia. Oh, sorry, the country name is not Ethiopia. That is, uh, we can pick from here. That is Ethiopia. Uh, yeah. So let us check again. Is equal to V lookup. Firstly, it's asked for the search criteria, which is this one, L26, 22, uh, then comma, then array. Array we can click uh, from here. M22 lake.csv and uh, it's in uh, yeah. Uh, then it asks for the column index. We need a second column and then uh, zero and enter lake abia. It's showing good. So for that we need to uh, make it. Uh, this will uh, this will remain a. Uh, relative because whenever we are dragging down and this should be b7 for the next then b8 like this but this uh, we need absolute we make it absolute by pressing f4 here and then keep your key mo uh, cursor here then press f4 from the keyboard and then you can drag down yeah so this is done now for the area uh, the formula is same b lookup and uh, then column index is this one uh, comma then you will select uh, this same and the area uh, area is in a third column first second third in fourth column the area is in fourth column so here you write uh, four then zero and you make it absolute F4 and here you can also press F4 and drag down. So area is also calculated. Uh, then similarly elevation, V lookup, and uh, this is a code correspondence to which we need to pick. And then array, array is uh, here. You can copy it. and uh, then comma uh, it's a uh, elevation where is elevation elevation is a uh, one two three four fifth column so here you will write five 
and then 0 and then yeah 0 exact match and uh, you will make it absolute by pressing F4 and uh, F4 yeah Uh, something has happened wrong. Elevation. Uh, so let us try again. You will write V look up. Uh, then we need such criteria that is a B6 and then comma, then array. Array is uh, this one. This array and uh, the column index is for elevation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Column index is uh, first we will make it absolute F4, F4, then comma 5, and then comma 0. So elevation is also done. So now need depth. So again, we uh, look up and uh, this is a code, comma array array is same like this one and uh, then uh, make it absolute by pressing F4 and then it is in a sixth column and uh, exact match we need so you can write a depth and we need a water fresh or salted you can use v lookup and similarly you can write uh, array is in a seventh column i think uh, uh, make it absolute and it's in a seventh column and exact match Again, something has happened wrong. Uh, you can write V lookup, then table or uh, this column index search criteria, and then uh, comma. Then you need array. array. You can select from here, and uh, you have to make it absolute. F4, F4, and it's a seventh column and then zero exact match and it's a fresh water okay so this uh, i think completed but they have told us if there is a no error uh, no code i suppose uh, so this question we were discussing this 15th uh, not this seven marks question we have completed this one place your name center number and kind number in left line in the header in a header left line we need to write our name center number and candidate number so this we have created file you will go in uh, insert and then you will go in header in the left side you will write your name comma uh, not comma i n159 then comma four times the center number okay and save your file so next print your spreadsheet showing the formula make sure it is a landscape content orientation the row and column headings are displayed the content uh, of cells except column a is fully visible so firstly we'll go in format uh, then uh, page style so row and column heading we need to show it's in a landscape orientation row and column headings are displayed and uh, print your spreadsheet showing the formula we need to show the formula also so you can uh, click here on formulas we need formulas only the formulas we have to show and row and column headings we need to show grid lines they have told or not no grid lines are not asked but the landscape uh, that is uh, required a landscape orientation required a landscape 
okay uh, let us check the print preview so it's showing the formulas uh, but those are not clearly visible we need to show all the formulas clearly you can make uh, wider so it's going so let us check print preview Make sure that you have entered names and number kind of on the spreadsheet showing the formula in the uh, spreadsheet uh, we have shown you can make it uh, on a single page you can go in file and uh, print uh, in settings you can make it format then page style yeah page tray by a printer setting auto selected main tray fit the range to width and height okay now it will be displayed a uh, width page one width wise single page it will uh, print on a single page uh, automatically it will adjust we can just copy it export to as pdf and then export you can give the name uh, print out one print out one so let us check our print out one and that is here in work area you can check this is our print out one so these are uh, formulas but formulas are not clearly visible this is a big issue you can make it uh, this larger and you can wrap test this a wrap test so let us check print preview i think now it will show you can file uh, that you can just click wrap test you can click here wrap test now check uh, again you can export it again yeah so let us check we need to increase its height then only the formula will clearly be visible Now let us check. Now formulas are clearly visible and uh, it's okay, done. So now after making its PDF or printout, you can uh, reduce its size according to your requirement. Uh, so this is done. And now next question. Uh, enter the in cell 3 Kenya uh, now we'll write uh, Kenya instead of Ethiopia so it's good Kenya print the spreadsheet showing the values uh, make sure that print out fits a single page contents only cell B 1 to B 14 are fully visible uh, row and column headings are not displayed uh, so we'll have to set it again page style format page style you can go we don't need row and column headings this time we don't need formulas this time we need this time only and uh, here uh, we need only the values so you can make it like this okay good 
दे आर टोल्ड टू प्रिंट बी वन टू जी फोर्टीन बी वन टू जी फोर्टीन मीन्स कम्प्लीटली वी नीड इट ओके यू हैव टू सेव इट एज अ प्रिंट आउट टू यू कैन फाइल एक्सपोर्ट एज एक्सपोर्ट यू कैन मेक इट प्रिंट आउट टू या सेव्ड सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एंट्रेंस सेल थ्री टेंजानिया तो नाउ वी नीड टू राइट हेयर टेंजानिया इंस्टेड ऑफ कीनिया तो बट दे हैव टोल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग इफ द वैल्यूज आर नॉट इफ कोड इज नॉट देयर देयर शुड नॉट बी एनी एरर मैसेज सो वी नीड टू सेट इट ऑल्सो मीन्स इफ इफ दिस कोड इफ द कोड इज ब्लैंक इट शुड प्रिंट ब्लैंक अदरवाइज इट विल वी लुक अप वाई नीड वी नीड अ ब्रैकेट टू बी क्लोज इन द एंड लेट मी चेक द फॉर्मूला इफ बी सिक्स इज ब्लैंक देन इट विल प्रिंट ब्लैंक अदरवाइज इट विल वी लुक अप सो आई थिंक इट्स नो एर शुड बी डिस्प्लेड हेयर सो लेट मी check again we write if b6 is equal to blank then it will print blank otherwise it will look up look up so oh ah, yeah well done so this we can copy we need in all we can copy it and here you can save uh, same yeah so you can drag down Say we need here. You can paste here and drag down. Here also we need the same. And I enter, and you can drag down. The same we need here. We can copy. Uh, I have already copied and saving. So okay. So error message should not be displayed if uh, the value is not there. so let us check what they have asked next print out first in a single page and only b1 to b14 row hello column headings are not displayed save it is a print out 3 so now again save it uh, export as export as print out 3 yeah so next what they have asked enter in cell 3 burundi now we we'll write burundi here so again we need to save same like you can export as export is yes, a print out 4 print out 4 we need uh save print your file document task 5 we need to save our on uh, this also export as export print out 5 so the task is completed uh, the spreadsheet part hope you have understood i'll show you all the print outs this was a print out 1 where we have shown the formulas and uh, here the print out 2 where we have printed the value of kenya and uh, here the printed the value of uh, tans tanzania and uh, then uh, that is a uh, burundi and the last one we have printed the evidence document so hopefully you have understood thank you thank you very much